Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be working on a tankless water heater. It's a Bosch model 2400. And having problems with it, it's not keeping the temperature consistent. So I'm going to, first thing I did is I removed a couple of screws down at the bottom so I can take this panel off, gain access to it. I looked at a parts diagram and there's a temperature sensor down in this area. So I'm going to take this part off. There's three screws that hold it in, this controller. I'm going to take that off. First thing I'm going to do though is unplug it. Disconnect power. Okay, so I removed this control panel. And I found there's a lot of corrosion back there. This is the hot water pipe and likely what's happening is this temperature sensor this is the temperature sensor oh yeah it's there's like corrosion in there and it's preventing the temperature sensor from operating properly so i'm going to clean this out and sand off the oxide layer on the copper and reconnect the temperature sensor okay so i got some sandpaper and i cleaned up the copper pipe where the temperature sensor goes problem that was happening is the water was getting really hot and getting really cold just not consistent so on the hot water pipe it looks to be the issue there's corrosion there and here's the old sensor I actually ordered a new temperature sensor too the old one it's kind of it's really rusty coming apart I don't know if you can see that so here's the new one, and I'll put that on. Okay, so I just put the new temperature sensor on. Looks pretty good. I'm going to have to keep an eye on this. This unit's about seven years old, and haven't had any issues with it. It's been working great. This is the first time that I've had some issues with the temperature. Just getting really high or getting really cold, not consistent. I may have to replace that pipe and replace that section down there, but I'll keep an eye on it. And if I'm having any problems, then I'll just order the parts and plan a replacement. Okay, so now I'm gonna button it back up, put this control panel back on. There's three screws for that. Put the cover on and two screws for the bottom access. Okay, so I got the control panel back on and plugged it in. Everything looks good. I'll put the cover back on. Here are the two screws that I was talking about for the bottom access. So I just put the cover back on and secure those two screws. And that will be it. I'm going to continue to monitor that. I probably have to replace that pipe. But I'll do that, save that for another job. Okay, so these are the two access screws. There's one there, and there's one on this side too, kind of hard to see, but you just undo those two screws and you can take the cover off. Well, I was at the bottom, I noticed we got some rusting down here at this, this connection pipe. So that's what I was talking about. That's the hot water line, and I'll probably order some parts, replace that line, and hopefully get another seven years out of this water heater. All right, got the temperature set at 118. I'll go test it out. All right, so I got the water on and the temperature feels consistent. I don't feel any more fluctuation up or down. So that looks like that was the issue and the water heater is fixed now. Okay, if you're interested in the part number, for the temperature sensor, it's a 8700 400 It's uh, original quality by Bosch Thermotech.